Hi, I would like to welcome you to this uh, short video showing you how uh, you create uh, your channel and how you add the uh, courses to the channel. Uh, right, first of all, as we all know, we can hit the sign as a number up. Yeah. And as soon as you log in, uh, you can go to My Learner and click on Learning Navigator. <coughs> And obviously, uh, this is gonna uh, give you the institutions here. So, go to productions and from productions, <coughs> I can go and uh, click on it. So, that's current, and then I would go to the uh, institutions and the institutions in the Middle East, at this, and this is the United Arab Emirates. And of course, we're going to have the university. So, I click on that. We have the channels. So, this is the channels. I click on here. These all channels is being done by yourself or by your colleagues. All these ones here. While you're here, you can go on the right hand side now. While I'm in channel, I can go and create my own channel here. You go to this part here, down the drop down. And I will go for creating channel. So I can create a channel. Usually, when you create a channel, it's very important uh, to make it uh, uh, meaningful to the students. So if you look at this one, CSCT02, for instance, uh, or uh, mine, uh, if I look at mine, for instance, the uh, it is. So it says SWE201, structure programming, Oracle certifications. Uh, my name and it says what year that would be. Uh, you can put it in sibling. This one, for instance, say full sibling uh, for program one and program two, and, and so on. Uh, so at least meaningful. I'm going to just put a test uh, to this channel. So I'm going to I'm going to call a uh, uh, model for test channel. I'll say test uh, uh, channel. Uh, there it is. Or CSC uh, 202 process. Uh, here, that's the language you go choose because I choose uh, English by default. And uh, here, you put the notes, is, so you can see that. Uh, this is, oh, uh, I can say this channel is for testing purposes. And of course, you can add more here as well in uh, this part. Now, I will save that. Yeah, I will click on the save here or I will click on the save down here. So, either way. Uh, so, that's going to be saved and it's going to be created on this side. So, if you notice, yeah, the channel has been created here. Right, this is a folder and inside this is really the channel. There it is. So, that's where your students uh, access it. And uh, now, look at this. Uh, doesn't this discuss uh, properties and so on? I would prefer you can go to the folder. And in the folder, you can have a look and you can see what, what's going on, right? But as the channel itself, if you go to the channel, it tells you actually what's in the channel here. So edit widgets, enrollment, that's why you enroll students here. And we talk about this in, in, in another uh, another video. It's uh, uh, what does it mean? And the course says, no, of course, you could need any, any, add any student. But before you add any students, uh, obviously, you need to add your uh, course to this channel. To add this course, I will go to curriculum, this part, and I click on browse, uh, and that is going to give me actually all the courses available. Either I can click on this here, browse, then I can find, I can find which one I'm looking for in order to do it. So all these are available to you and uh, uh, and Oracle. <coughs> And the shortest way which I found usual, I would go to, for instance, I would do Java. I can put the word Java here. And we'll click on Java, that's going to give you actually a list of the Java courses available <coughs> uh, to you. So all, all of these are uh, available to you. Now I can go to Java, I use usually Java. Uh, I can go, it's called Java Foundation Learner, uh, search for it, uh, JFO. And obviously, that's what it comes here. <coughs> no, my share, uh, just this uh, display there. There you go. This is the search. Click on this one. Obviously, you can see actually what's available. 
this is section one uh, so all these parts of it there's like these tools outside the document and then the other types uh, and so on uh, methods classes and so on uh, you go to five uh, that's it that's actually all the switch and then step for statements that's with same exam uh, and then loops uh, then how do you create classes chapter seven this is which is is the beginning of your programming too uh, and obviously uh, you go chapter eight array the exceptions that's what it is and then java fx the last one and then you do the final uh, exam this final exam face to face usually uh, we do that uh, right uh, having seen that it is when you click on that you can see here it says add to channel so when i click on that and i look for the course i've created so I've got all these courses has been uh, has been uh, done now look at the course i've just created yeah it is uh, when the protest cells i click on on it here yeah? and I click on submit and automatically the course is going to be added to a title so in part uh, has been added to the following channel that's the channel click on this one all i need to go now and i click on then in navigator and it's going to take me exactly where i left before so it's this back there yeah. so when i click on this channel itself i can see my channel now has this part of java foundations here yeah. i hope you find this useful uh, and i appreciate your feedback uh, on on this uh, short video thank you so much uh, and i appreciate it. thank you i wish you best of luck thanks very much